2018 has come to an end, and hopefully the bear market too. It is now a time to reflect and think about the year ahead. So we decided to ask some crypto experts about the year in crypto and what to expect in 2019. Roger Veer, Tony Vase, Jimmy Song, Paul Veritatakit, and the Bitcoin Dad all gave us their 2018 takeaways and projections for the coming year. This whole year has, has been sort of uh, a pretty tough bear market. And, you know, I, I sort of expect next year to be uh, a bear market for a while, too. You know, maybe a price increase toward the end. But nevertheless, I mean, we shouldn't expect anything for a bit of time. One event that is really positive and one event that is sort of a sign of reality. You know, I think one significant event was basically back announcing that they are, are launching and what they are doing. I think that is significant because, you know, again, if we want to see price increase, I think institutions are going to be a huge part of that. I think the biggest event in the, for 2018 has to be the declining price of not only Bitcoin, but the entire space of the crypto assets. Uh, to me, this is significantly different than what happened back in 2014 or 15. I believe that this time around, the old coin bubble has, like, will not return. Uh, I, th I think that's going to be the big difference. I think that the is the most critical event is the fact that this was the old coin bubble. I don't expect the old coins to come back. There were other smaller events like the implosion of the Bitcoin cash, or as I like to call it, the Bcash split that showed how irrelevant uh, those old coins are. And uh, so to me, that was, uh, it, it's a good thing. I'm, I'm really enjoying this year, uh, 2018, for the implosion of the old coin space. I hate to say the bear market, because that's pretty much what uh, 2018 has been for the most part. Um, you know, I, I think it's been, you know, a, a healthy correction. I mean, it still hurt everybody that, uh, you know, was on board uh, in 2017 going into 2018. Um, but, you know, I, I think it was needed to kind of, you know, pull back a little bit and, uh, and you know, gather itself again, um, you know, before we kind of, you know, move into 2019 and 2020, which I think uh, will be pretty bullish. I would say it was the bear market itself. Uh, the fact that a lot of uh, crappy projects have been kind of flushed out of the system or they're, they're currently in their death throes, um, that is very significant because there's been a lot of malinvestment in this space and getting those out of our... Uh, out of this economy is a very good thing because it allows for investment in the things that are actually winning. Um, I think the 10th anniversary is significant because uh, that means that Bitcoin has been around for 10 years. There's some credible scarcity to Bitcoin that I think uh, people underestimate sometimes. Uh, you know, like having something proven over time is a very, very good thing. Um, and uh, and more people will come in for that reason. Uh, you know, like if it, if something's like two or three years old, it's it's less, uh, it's not as easy to trust it as if it's like ten years old because it's been through a lot. The correction as a whole, and people start to realize that the market doesn't only go up; it can go up and down. And I think people will realize that like the long term vision is to make cryptocurrencies usable as currencies, and that's what drives the long term price. I'm bullish overall. So, I mean, I would like to say this is the bottom. I'm still a little skeptical, but um, I feel 2019 and, and going into 2020 before the halving again, um, you know, I only see upside at this point. I think we need to fall further. Uh, I, I think you need real capitulation. I think you need a lot of the malinvestments uh, in ICOs and altcoins to really, um, you know, like make it possible so that nothing is uh like these projects just need to die basically because uh, there, there's a lot of malinvestment and until that malinvestment is cleared out of the system um it's still going to be you're you're just sort of like waiting for another bubble uh, another downturn in order to get rid of them so um you know this is what happens in any economy you have business cycles and uh, during the bottom, you you get rid of the inefficient and stupid projects, um, and that's what bear markets are for. And until uh, the bear market has done its work, 
it's it's not really you know you're you're either waiting for a bigger bear market later and just sort of delaying it or um you know like you're you're not really culling anything so i i don't think we've hit bottom no i think we'll start seeing some scalability projects launch next year and i think that'll be exciting but you know i don't think any of them will sort of compete with ethereum you know at least in the in the near term um, I also think that there's going to be a ton of consolidation, a uh, lot of late stage rounds being raised by companies, and we're going to start seeing some pretty significant acquisitions from existing tech companies and banks, uh, and then also a lot of, you know, a lot of aqua hires. I also think the security token market is pretty inflated right now, and there's no infrastructure to facilitate any sort of liquidity whatsoever. So we're going to see a ton of projects getting issued, but I really don't think there's going to be much happening there uh, next year. So I think that one is a, I think that was a, a bit overhyped. And I think we'll start seeing some some governments starting to launch their own tokens. I think we're heading into basically a building and installation phase. And I think uh, in terms of, of fundraising, it's going to be a, a really tough time for ICS. I think the main thing in 2019 will be the realization that Bitcoin did not die it's not going to die and it's going to reverse uh, at some point in 2019. I'm starting to think it will be more to the latter half of 2019 than the beginning of 2019. And this time around, Bitcoin will start to separate from the rest of the crypto space. So I think the marking of 2019 will be the end of the Bitcoin bear market and the start of the another Bitcoin bull market, this time with side chains, with scaling, with privacy, and I can't wait. I certainly expect a lot more companies to come around to realize like Bitcoin is where it's at. Um, I, I mean, you can sort of see that already. A lot of CEOs are starting to say good things about Bitcoin as a way to sort of pivot a little bit. Because they're realizing like a lot of these altcoins and ICOs are not doing so well. And uh, any sort of bets that they placed on them have been pretty bad. Uh, and they, they, have been they haven't been served well by them. So I imagine this will continue uh, through most of 2019. I think the world uh, it's going to see like more and more people building on top of Bitcoin. And of course, when I say Bitcoin, I mean Bitcoin Cash whether Bitcoin is going to make a new all time high. I'm not necessarily sold on that in 2019. Um, it might not be until later in the year when it really starts to move, maybe hits the 10,000 mark and, and kind of goes from there. Um, but, you know, I, I, I'm bullish overall. I, I mean, I think there's a lot of things in the pipeline with the possible ETF and, you know, still there's still a lot of institutional money that I think is trying to find some clarification. I think at least in the short to medium term it's a great time to invest into into bitcoin there's still strong correlation between bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies and so you know i think the markets are really low it's a great time to be buying cryptocurrencies i do suggest buying multiple cryptocurrencies just because the market is so dynamic and to put all your eggs in one basket is probably not a good strategy so either you know investing into an index or investing into a bunch of them that you're really passionate about or even you know going through some sort of fund manager i am expecting lower prices if your time horizon is at least five years ahead then the best time to buy bitcoin is always yesterday i've had this answer for uh numerous years now uh, but if you're actually trying to time the market and you don't if you don't have any bitcoin right now then any time is a good time to buy but if, but if you are watching it regularly, um, I think buying it in the low 3000s or below 3000s is great, but definitely have a bunch of fiat on reserve so you can buy a slightly bigger chunk of it below 2000. And, uh, and if it ever goes below 1500, I will try to sell whatever I have not nailed down uh, in order to pile into it. From a monetary perspective, I think it's still pretty clear that Bitcoin's the big winner, and uh, and you know almost everything else is an attempt to try to do something interesting from a centralized perspective. Personally, I'm anti ICO. Uh, I don't feel that you know that there have been some good projects that raise money that deserve the money, 
but then you know you get everything else kind of piggybacking those and it, it really got diluted um there was a lot of just dumb money being thrown at a ton of projects that are now down you know 95 percent um i personally i am not going to be bullish on icos in, in my investment position i'm really going to be extremely skeptical regarding that um i'm more of in favor of a proof of work type of project um something where you don't give a developer 20 30 million dollars up front for an idea you know i feel that they are more motivated by having a fair launch and you know moving forward with their work and interest that would be brought on due to their work and dedication to the project. A ton of ICOs are really going to die next year. Um, they've raised quite a bit of money and for either regulatory reasons like basis or just bad treasury management, we're just going to see a lot of them get fleshed out even more. So I could see even the alt markets getting even worse. I'm sure there will be some, but not nearly to the degree that we saw in 2017, 2018. I imagine most of them, um, like most people are kind of, uh, you know, jaded by ICOs in general right now. Uh, you know, most of them haven't delivered anything, and the few that have aren't aren't anywhere near what they hyped it up to be. So, uh, <coughs> given those experiences, I, I don't think there will be nearly as many. Though, you know, I, who knows? Already, ICOs are having a really tough time raising any money whatsoever. They they either have to go to private investors or. Um, you know, have to sell off a lot of the, uh, you know, Ethereum or whatever they raised uh, off in order to fund their operations. Um, some are trying some weird models where they basically gamble with the money that they have in their treasury. I think ICOs are going to get even more popular in the future. They're, they're fantastic because they allow any investor to invest in any entrepreneur anywhere in the world instantly and have instant liquidity based on the token as well. So, um, yeah, there was a big run up last year and, and things cooled off a little bit, but like this is something that never existed before. And the reason there was such a big giant run up is because people were realizing how useful it is. So I don't think ICOs are going to slow down in the long run. I think we're going to see that become a more and more common funding model for, for new and existing businesses. All time high would be nice, but, you know, hang in there, uh, keep grinding. You know, the, the markets aren't going to be easy. Um, you know, that would kind of be my advice to you guys is, uh, you know, don't give up. Um, you know, I know it's rough out there to kind of hang in there. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously only invest what you can lose. Um, but, uh, you know, be patient and, uh, and hodl. I wish that, you know, we can all just, you know, not focus as much on price and just really focus on, on building and shipping product. And I think that's what we're going to get most about this entire bear market is that you know now that we're not seeing employees leaving because they can make a lot more money day trading on cryptocurrencies you know we're seeing people really focused on hitting milestones and maybe even structuring transactions with investors where you know money or tokens will be released when milestones are hit but you know the most the most important thing for me is that top talent is continuing to come into this space and we're continuing to see a lot of the best talent in the startup ecosystem coming in and it makes me really hopeful so i think 2019 is going to be a huge year for us become a part of your investments instead of just sort of like wishful thinking right like um you know contribute to the ecosystem um you know and in whatever way you can you don't have to be a developer you can be a holder you can be uh somebody that's part of the social community uh but that's what's required in order to not just be gambling, but actually investing. Uh, I wish people would actually start using cryptocurrency as currency. Use it to buy and sell things and uh, use it to pay other people and use it to get paid when you, you know, when people owe you money. Start actually using it as money rather than just some speculative in instrument. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.